Hi everyone, it's Rose here. I have a new baby to introduce to you. I'm calling him my birthday baby. It's my birthday on, on the 2nd of December and two days prior to that I went to a doll show. I met up with Susan again and found this little girl there. I had no intentions of buying any reborns. I'd actually gone down to look at a silicone that was down there. And it turned out, um, as soon as I held the silicone, I, I knew she wasn't for me. So, here's the new baby. So, I haven't actually officially named her, but I'll tell you a bit about that in a minute. She did come with this outfit. It's a Carter's outfit with a little owl and some spots all over it, which is rather sweet. And some little bows as well. And she came with a belly plate. It's picking up the detail quite well. Not sure it would in this room. I'm in the lounge room. So it came with these little booties. She had those on. I took them off just before. Here's her little tootsies. She was reborn by Rhonda from Tiny Tots Nursery. I'll show you a little tootsies. She doesn't have a lot of um, shading like in the creases as much as some other people do anyway. She has veining though. She has full legs and full arms. Tiny bit of Brushing on the knees, a lot. And on that knee too. Uh, some of you may have already guessed by the feet, but I'm sure you will as soon as I show you her hands. This little gold bracelet. Pretty hands. Again, not a lot of um, blushing and mottling on on her. I just wondered if it, that might have been because people were hurrying to make the dolls for the doll show. I'm not sure because I haven't had one of. A baby from Tiny Tots before, so I don't know if this is normally how she paints her babies or not. Some veining on the top. I think she might be the first baby that's got veining on the top of her hands. She came in this little dress, which is a Will Beth dress. I came with the bloomers, matched it, and the headband, I'll show you in a minute. This lady sold a variety of things. She had clothes and also some reborning supplies, kits. I bought two kits off her. Um, and also a prop to prop the babies up in, which I'll show a bit in, in my whole video. So here's the little girl. And if you haven't guessed, she's the Everly kit by Laura Lee Eagles. And she's got a massive amount of hair. A ton of hair.
I, I was told it was some um, Delta Dawn hair, but I'm not totally sure. I've never felt Delta Dawn hair, so I really don't can't say for certain. It's not as soft as um, uh, Slumberland, though. It doesn't. This doesn't feel as soft as slumber, and it does mat up at the back. After she's been lying there for a while, um, and I go to comb it, it's all knotted at the back. I have to be very careful, but she's got a heck of a lot of hair. Quite suits her actually. And to her name, I'm I'm going to actually keep Beverly. But whether that's her first name or her last name, I'm not sure. I actually think of giving her three names. Uh, I've picked the, another name, but I'm not going to reveal that one yet. So that'll have to be in another video. This is her certificate. And she is number 423 of 500. Yes, like I said, I think that there might have only been about one or two at the doll show um, of this kit. I don't recall seeing any blankets at the doll show. Um, oh, and the, at the doll show, Bonnie Brown was the guest artist. And I had her sign some bodies and also Millie's body. I took Millie down, who is my buggy by Bonnie Brown. I'll show her in another video though. So I hope you'll welcome my little, we'll just call it Everly for now, my little Everly. My birthday baby. So thanks for watching. Bye.